Hey, Pat. Hey, Mike, how are you? Pretty good. I was just seeing if that gun came in. It did. It's right here. I'm, I'm glad you stopped in. We can uh, we can do your paperwork on it. Um, what I'll have you do is I'll need to see your driver's license and your pistol permit um, just to make sure the addresses match on everything. Um, I'll turn you loose on the uh, the 4473 form here. Um, I'll fill the top in with the info as far as the gun serial number, things like that. But I'll start you out on number nine here. We'll go down. I'll have you answer the questions and. Hop to the inside here once you're done with the front section. Um, finish your questions, sign and date, and then we'll run everything. Uh, we'll get you, I'm sure you'll pass and you'll be approved. Um, once that's taken care of, then we'll take and uh, use our form for the county here, um, or for whatever county you're in. Um, we'll fill it out with your the gun info, your permit info, as well as uh, the what they call the NTN, the NICS transaction number, showing that you passed so that then the, uh, the permit office knows you're good to go and you're legit on it. Um, and then we'll turn you loose to either mail it in or depending on uh, if your county's accepting people or not, um, to take it in in person and get it added to your permit. Sounds good, here's my driver's license and my pistol permit. Perfect, we'll get this started. All right, so then I would actually fill out all of this, like you just said, starting right here at number nine. Yep. I'm not actually gonna fill any of this stuff out right now on camera because I don't want anyone to know what my personal info is. guys so once you actually receive this back from your county you bring this back to the gun dealer so you can actually receive your new pistol so i'm going to give that over to the gun dealer they're going to verify everything that does match up and once that happens that's when i can actually take ownership of my new firearm because my pistol permit will be updated here in new york state yep we always verify the serial number and everything just because Mistakes happen and you know, you never know what can transpire. Somebody might have been having a bad day or whatever the case may be. Make sure everything's unloaded to go back to the customer. Verified. Put everything in the nice neat package, brand new. And Mike is ready to go with his brand new handgun. Perfect. Now, I do have a question, Pat. What if I wasn't buying a handgun, but I was gonna buy a shotgun or a rifle? Do we have to do any of that stuff still? Like, still a background check, but we don't need to wait for that return or anything, correct? No, no, it's very simple with a long gun. Um, with a long gun, it's just your standard 4473 form, um, which is a federal form in, uh, in any state. Um, the only thing that varies with New York now is, uh, say you were to have a delay in that, um, then unfortunately due to the poor governing in this state, we have to wait 30 days um, in order to transfer that gun to the individual. Um, but I would say 99.9% .9 of people, it's an instant come back as a pass, um, pass or fail. And to be honest, if you're failing it, you, you usually know that you weren't gonna pass in the first place. Um, but uh, once you pass that for a long gun, you take it home with you the same day. It's super easy, super simple. Um, and then you're, you're a proud, happy gun owner. Sounds good. I'm going to have to start looking at a new shotgun. Thanks a lot. Wonderful. Thank you, Mike.